Well, it's currently 9.05 a.m. in the Chicagoland area, and I'm looking for loads back to Minnesota or Wisconsin for today. Now, these are reefer loads, but it's all types. Um, so, dry van can be on here, too. Let me hit search. There's a total of six loads leaving this area in a 150-mile deadhead going back to Minnesota. Um, and some of these rates are <laughs> like $1.69 per mile to go to Savage, Burnsville, Fairmont, that's south of the cities. Burnsville and Savage are near the cities. Egan's near the cities, Oak Park, Wisconsin. Um, this is kind of what I was talking about. Hauling cheap freight drives the lane averages down, right? I don't want to be the problem and have a race to the bottom. So I did secure myself a load much better than the rates I'm seeing here. But yeah, this is at 9 o'clock in the morning in the Chicagoland area on a Friday going back to Minneapolis, Minnesota, or eastern Wisconsin. Well, I am checked in and already given a door, uh, but this is going to be a treat. Um, yeah, blindside backing into these doors. Maybe I can drive all the way down. I just saw a truck come around the corner. Maybe I can turn around to get to the door I need to get to. Well, I was able to get the truck turned around, um, so I didn't have to try and blindside blind into this very tight backing scenario here. Um, we're right by the airport, so this is... All this product comes in on airplanes. Uh, pretty cool place. But opening my doors, I already slid my axles, and now I'm gonna back into dock door number seven. Well, I am already loaded. Man, that, that was super quick. I've, I've only been here in the dock 13 minutes. Um, so yeah, I got a load from Chicago that delivers tomorrow back in Minnesota. Um, it's a dry load, and I'm actually getting above the national average. Um, I'll put a screenshot up here. I believe the national average in this market for dry van freight is $2.35 per mile. I'm getting $2.37 per mile, and Here's the greatest part. Weight, 6,843 pounds. Super light load. Um, and like I said, it gets me home in time to get to jury duty if I need to go to jury duty and don't get relieved. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't book that load for $1.80, $1.88 a mile with a hundred and some mile deadhead, 140 mile deadhead. All miles in after taking out the carrier's per percentage, it would have been like $1.16 a mile to me, the contractor. I don't want to be the reason the rates are driving down. I mean, these are averages, so I understand there's highs and lows in averages, right? Well, if I'm hauling freight at lower than the national average, that's going to drive the national average of dry van freight, which I don't know anything about, down. I don't want to be the problem in doing that so i'm glad that i was able to find this load for two dollars and 37 cents back to minnesota um so yeah i am gonna close my doors fire up the truck and get trailer trucking well there's my load going back to minnesota a total of four pallets man i could get used to hauling dry van freight let me tell you total of four pallets not even seven thousand pounds a good rate I could haul dry van freight. All right, I'm gonna close the doors and get on the move. I got cut off on the highway by this RGN, this freaking Peterbilt driver. Look who it is! Hey, aren't you that reefer guy? Aren't you that cents per mile guy? Did you sign my arm so <laughs> I can get a tattoo? Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, meeting up with cents per mile. Gonna go grab a bite to eat. So say hi one more time. Check us out. Yes. We're here getting shit done. There you go. Well, good evening. It's 9:30 p.m. Um, I just emerged from the bunk. 
uh, took about a seven hour nap. Um, I realize I haven't filmed anything or given any updates since I met, met cents per mile for lunch this afternoon. Uh, that was really cool meeting him. He's got a lot going on. Make sure you check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Um, he's, he's got some cool things. He's hauling RGN now. Um, trying to be ahead of the curve. Like, honestly, it, good, good for him. I, I wish him nothing but the best, but it was super cool meeting him for lunch here in Toma, Wisconsin. Um, I still have about two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes before I get back to Minnesota. Um, and the plan is just to drive to Minnesota. I'm going to park the truck, Uber home for the night and then finish this tomorrow. Uh, finish the delivery tomorrow morning. I'd like to spend a night in my, in my own bed. Um, I've been on the road 11 days. Um, yeah, it's been 11 days since I left my house. So I'd like to get home tonight, spend the night in my bed, and then wake up tomorrow and finish this super easy four, four pallet, 6,000 pound load. So yeah, I'm going to fire up the truck. Um, it's going to sound like a fax machine. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to fire up the truck, warm the truck up, and get on the road. Good morning. It's 6.05 a.m. I'm here at a quick trip with a K. I uh, just got myself a cup of coffee. Um, I'm in Osego, Minnesota. Um, I already tried to check in at the receiver, and they told me I couldn't check in until 20 minutes before my appointment. So I found this little, it's very small truck stop. There's room for maybe like 20 trucks here. Um, so I parked over by the cat scale. I'm about half a mile away from the receiver so I'm just gonna jump in the truck drink this cup of coffee and do some paperwork and then I will go over and get unloaded get these four pallets off and then get home and enjoy the rest of the weekend before I have to report to jury duty on Monday uh, my number well I have made it here to ruin their bobcat facility um, I'm hauling four pallets of bobcat bearings. Um, so I was told to go to door E and check in there. That is their shipping and receiving office. So that is what I'm going to do. So I have made it to Rune's Bobcat facility, or Rune, um, going in here to check in real quick. Well, they're already pulling off the second pallet. I should be done any minute. But look at how tight this backing scenario is. And I mean, they own that building too, but yet put a fence up here with trailers. You're able to do it, but you know what? It's like backing into a tight um, cold storage facility in Chicago. Well, I've been here eight minutes and I am unloaded. 
So I'm gonna pull out of the dock here, slide my tandems, and then go get my paperwork. Well, I just got my paperwork back, took my vest off. Now I'm gonna check out. Um, I might need to haul for this company more. Um, this was bobcap parts, like bearings. Um, it was four total pallets. It weighed 6,800 pounds. Um, I don't haul a lot of dry freight, so I found this load. They were willing to pay me $2.37 to drive 401 miles, and it gets me home. Um, I'm within 20 miles of my house right now, so I, I grabbed it the minute I saw it. And at the time, it was the only load on the load board, so I feel like I got pretty lucky. But yeah, that's going to end this vlog. It was great to run into cents per mile and grab some lunch with them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you've made it this far, just give me a thumbs up on this video. Until next time, you know what it is. Keep on trucking.